empowering executives through cybersecurity literacy with Him Pan, ING Head of Information Security UK Region. The growing need for cybersecurity literacy spans across all industries, regardless of the type of organization or location. When speaking with Him Pant, Head of Information Security at UK-based ING Commercial Banking and Tripwire customer, we learn that this is especially true within the financial sector. At ING, empowerment is the name of the game. The number one priority for ING and their success focuses on ensuring that every customer is empowered to stay ahead of life and in business. ING strives to constantly provide their customers with the right tools they need to succeed, while guaranteeing that their products are seamlessly easy to use and available to them anytime, anywhere. ING drives this same principle across various departments. When engaging in cross-functional projects, the information security team has found great value in empowering others by working closely together to remain secure. In turn, this approach helps reiterate user awareness, the single most important component of their cybersecurity success, since these actions bring immense impact to their day-to-day -day decisions. With the empowerment approach, the business has now seen a number of benefits by involving the security team across other areas of the business and at the start of the projects. With an open-door policy, the communication between these departments, including the executive staff, has helped others become more literate on current security issues without getting over-involved in the weeds. As a result, Employees, managers, and board members alike are more situationally aware of these issues, which is the best of both worlds. Furthermore, an ING committee overseeing both operational and security risks meets on a monthly basis with other business unit heads. This goes back to ING's tagline of staying ahead of life and in business. By working with cross-functional businesses within the organization, such as the business teams, legal, finance, communications, premises, HR, and compliance, it allows the security team to educate on the foundational concepts of security while still allowing each department to work efficiently and effectively to handle their own business risks. Where does Pant see all of this going in a few years out? The answer for him is streamlining doing things in a standard way using common operational target models. This can be achieved by working towards a simpler business model where uniqueness isn't lost with more collaboration. Pant adds that a lot of financial organizations are doing that now. It's a game you'll never win, but we are all taking steps to improve ourselves and our organizations.